National Education Policy 2020. The country has reached a stage in its economic and technical development when a major effort must be made to drive the maximum benefit and to ensure that the fruit of change reach all sections. Thus, education is highway to that goal. And Ravani, Madam, please mute your mic, sir. Please keep patience, friends. Please mute your mic for effective presentation. Now, there we have the contents and objectives. National Education Policy 2020 and Introduction. Vision of NEP 2020. Key principle of NEP 2020, curriculum learning outcomes, competencies, how children will learn, curricular and pedagogic structure, schools complex and accreditation, teachers education and development, key focus areas equality, gender, special needs, new education policy 2020, usefulness in school. And here we have the roadmap to the National Education Policy 2020. It's all about the evolution of National Education Policy of India. And the National Education Policy of India started in the year 1968. Indira Gandhi government announced the first National Education Policy on Education in 1968, which was based on the recommendation of the Education Commission. I hope I am audible to all of you. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma all right. So then, yes, ma'am. Then Rajiv Gandhi government launched new education po uh, policy focusing on adult education and empowerment of minorities in 1986. There was a modification of 1986. National Education Policy under P. V. Narsamhara government by adding a common entrance program, uh, examination for professional and technical program. In 2005, the National Education Policy introduced by Manmohan Singh government was based on common minimum program. In 2016, the National Education Policy by Narendra Modi government addressed gender discrimination, creation of educational tribunals, and a common curriculum for science, maths, and English. In 2017, a new education plan with major changes was scheduled to be launched by the Narendra Modi government. And in 2020, that is in 2020, 28 is ready to be executed. And here I present a video on drafting of national education policy. New committee was formed. The drafting committee was made of nine members. They drafted the national education policy 2019. Uh, and Mr. K. Kasturi Rangan was the chairman of this committee, which was finally passed in 2020. Now, the three most important changes in the new national education policy committee. The first was the HRD ministry now was renamed as Ministry of Education. The second, the GDP investment in education was uh, increased from 1.6 to 6 percent. And the third was focusing on gross enrollment ratio. It will be increased to 50 percent by 2035. Now, Education, National Education Policy 2020 and Introduction. Education is fundamental for achieving full human potential, developing an equitable and just society and promoting national development. This National Education Policy 2020 is the first uh, education policy of the 21st century and aims to address the many growing developmental imperatives of our country. And what does this 
National Education Policy Propose. The National Education Policy 2020 proposes revision and revamping of all aspects of the education structure, including our culture, tradition, and our origin, and its implementation, regulation, and governance. It proposes to create a new system that is aligned with the aspirational goals of 21st century education, including the Sustainable Development Goal 4, that is SDG 4, while building upon India's traditions and value system. This National Education Policy 2020 is based on the principle that education must develop not only cognitive capacities, both the foundational capacities of literacy and numeracy, and so also the higher order cognitive capacities such as critical thinking and problem solving, but also social, ethical and emotional capacities and disposition. Indeed, with the quickly changing employment landscape, and global ecosystem, it is becoming increasingly critical that children not only learn, but more importantly, learn how to learn. Hello. And here I Hello. Present. Hello. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, madam. Madam, कुछ ऐसे teacher हैं जो join नहीं कर पा रहे हैं आप उनको allow कीजिए. Sir, YouTube, YouTube. Go to YouTube. And, uh, oh, while, I'm hard, while I'm speaking hard, while I'm speaking, we don't have we don't have the link for YouTube. It is in the chat box given. Ask your uh, I mean uh, school principals; they will uh, guide you. And here um, I present our, a video our the is not here. about a mother, daughter, and pineapple. This is the story. You can see the mother and the daughter and the pineapple here. The daughter is trying to peel off the fine apple which she is not able to, the mother who is sitting next, she sees and she thinks how to teach. So she does not tell her anything. She picks up the pineapple on her own and then she starts cutting it. The daughter is watching how the mother is doing and she is learning by doing, all right, copying out mother's every activity and this is how she has peeled off the pineapple and she has cut it. Mother is smiling with the satisfaction that the child has learned something on her own. Then the next morning she goes to school and then she on the way she sees her friends uh, enjoying ice cream. The mother sees and she feels sorry because they are not very well off. So at, uh, at night at home the mother she tries to make the pineapple ice cream. Yes, she makes the pineapple, uh, cuts the pineapple in an ice cream form and keeps it in the ice box. And in the morning she gives it to her daughter. She enjoys and then she says so there was an idea again of doing something on her own. So you see how the ice box is packed with the ice creams. And then she is going to the market. See, smartly she is walking ahead, doing something, trying to learn something. Like some pineapple ice cream, like some pineapple ice cream. She's calling out to the people. Yes, like some pineapple ice cream. And very sorry, there was nobody to buy it. And then she again feel sorry about it. The mother, then she guides that you go to the market, see the vendors, how they sell their goods. And you see how beautifully she's treading to the market, stepping sensibly, see how the vendors in the market are selling their things, how they have made the drawing and how they have, I mean, uh, calling out. And this is how she runs back home and at home now she is drawing uh, the ice cream, pineapple ice cream, picture on a paper and then she sticks it on that ice cream bag and it says uh, 5 rupees each and for 3 rupees 10. So this is how it is and she goes to the market once again I mean by selling she uh, rings the bell of the bicycle and then the flock of children they rush they go there and they buy the bicycle I mean pineapple Excuse ice cream me, man. and she is quite satisfied. And the mother is also quite happy that the child has run through her own experience and is happy that the child will be able to solve the problem on her own in the years to come. So she is satisfied that when someday she will not be around, she will be able to lead her life quite happily. And so the basic concept of experiential learning 
is to learn by doing and not by teaching. This is the best example. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I may remember. Involve me and I learn. This is the beautiful line spoken by Benjamin Franklin. Where she has Are you said, listening to me? Yes, Manoj sir. Mishra, ma'am, BAB6. All right, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Atem yeah, very good afternoon, ma'am. Is this going to be our future national education policy? Is this going to be integrated, you know? Yes, In sir. this national... That is why you uh, displayed, no? Yes, sir. Haven't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yes. carry on, carry on. Yes. So, this is how the child say. I mean, uh, Benjamin Franklin has said that involve the child in doing so that by doing, he or she is able to learn. Long back... Up our thinkers have given this notion. All right. Now, the rich heritage of ancient and eternal Indian knowledge and thought has been a guiding light for national education policy 2020. The pursuit of knowledge that is Gyan, wisdom that is Pragya, and truth that is Satya was always considered in Indian thought and philosophy as the highest human goal. The aim of education in ancient India was not just the acquisition of knowledge as preparation for life in this world or life beyond schooling, but for the complete realization and liberation of the self. Here, I would make you aware of the teacher's position in National Education 2020, National Education Policy 2020. This National Education Policy 2020 re-establishes teachers at all levels as the most respected and essential members of our society. And what does it focus on? Yes, it focuses on how to empower teachers and help them to do their job as effectively as possible. And to recreate the very best and brightest to enter the teaching profession at all levels, ensuring livelihood, respect, dignity, and autonomy. Here, I move on to the vision of National Education Policy 2020. <clears throat> National Education Policy 2020 dreams of such a system where every member of society will be treated equally so that they may or they must contribute further to the societies in future. An education system that contributes to an equitable and vibrant knowledge society by providing high quality education to all. That is to develop a deep sense of respect towards the fundamental rights, duties and constitutional value bonding with one country and responsibilities in a changing world of changing rules political changes, etc. <laughs> Still instills skills, values and disposition that support responsible commitment to human rights, sustainable development and living and global well-being thereby reflecting a truly global citizen. <coughs> and now I move on to key principles of national education policy. <coughs> Uh, the key principles of national education policy is to have respect for diversity and local context in all curriculum, pedagogy and policy, to have equity and inclusion which is the cornerstone of all educational decision. We all know our great thinkers have always spoken of the inclusion of equity and equality. Then comes the community participation that deals with the encouragement and felicitation for philanthropic, private and community participation. Next is the use of technology that is in teaching and learning and removing language barriers for barriers, young students yeah, and in educational planning and management. Emphasize conceptual Emphasize understanding. Conceptual understanding. Rather than rote learning and learning for exams, that is, children, they mug up, they learn, and then they vomit it out in the examination. So such a learning is to be stopped, and they have to learn through all the experiences. Now, you, I mean, they should have the basic concept. 
Unique capabilities means recognizing, identifying the uniqueness in each student. That is the example of uh, R.K. Lashman, the cartoonist. The cartoonist. All right. Who had uh, 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 been doing his drawing while like the teacher was there teaching in the class. That is the, ch the, the here comes the important responsibility of a teacher to recognize and identify the unique quality that each child in the class possess. Some may be very good at singing, some may be very good at some other things. So this is how the teacher responsibility is somewhat increased and we have to see to it. <coughs> Comes the, the critical thinking and creativity to encourage local decision making and innovation. Next is continuous review based on sustained research and regular assessment by educational experts. Now, me, we see the I, curriculum learning outcomes and, and competencies. The uh, universalization of access, that is early childhood care and education, that is ECCE to secondary level. To ensure equality and inclusion, that is the teaching imparted will be equal for all communities and CWSN, that is children with special needs would also be included. Bringing back two crores out of school children is to teach the core concept of each subject, chapter-wise, topic-wise. Basically, it overcomes the road methods of learning and students must know their sort, that is their strength, weakness, opportunities, and threat. In this concept, each chapter of each textbook is arranged in natural sequence each chapter has few core elements and points. Lesson plan are to be designed in such a way that it covers all the key elements that covers the entire chapter. It will reduce the bag size of students, so also the dropout of the students too. Next, it expects to attain sustainable development goals of retaining all children's me, schools and the me, of secondary and education. Secondary Such education. a friendly teaching environment Such is to be created that the students created. don't leave the school. Right. the school. Right. It expects to improve quality and achievement of learning outcomes with foundational literacy and numeracy, that is FNN, which is a skill for strat or a strategy involved in reading, speaking, writing, and interpreting his thoughts. Simple numerical concepts of with fundamental arithmetical uh, operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. It expects to focus on 21st century skills in teaching, learning, and assessment for better results resource sharing, that is uh, school complexes and all, the sharing of human and infrastructural resources would take place. Effective governance, it is all about the separation of powers and common norms to have effective government, governance of schools. Overcoming the language barriers in learning, that is the local flavor is to be added. Students will be getting education in their own mother tongue or local language. Like in Jharkhand, Kota can also be uh, uh, that things could be taught in quota as well. Now, common standards for public and private school education. That is, the common standards of public and private school education will be maintained. They all will be balanced. And now, here we move on to the transforming curriculum and pedagogical structure. Yes, the new... The new Pedagogical and curricular structure of school education will be 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4, that varies, or preschools, and 12 years in school. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry for the interruption. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Uh, uh, yes. Ma'am, uh, yes. uh, Principal Ma'am, Chata D. Public School Ghato Tard is uh, waiting to join. Please uh, let her name join. Please, sir. Name, please. Sir, name. Kiran Kumari. Kiran. Kiran, sorry, Kiran Yadav. Kiran. All right, sir. All Kiran Yadav. Right, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for interruption again. All right, all right. So, the first is 
the foundational stage earlier we had that uh, teaching 10 plus 2 and now it has again changed to 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 okay now the foundational stage it is up to the age of 5 years which is multi-level play based activity based it is categorized thus 3 plus 2 years that is the child will spend its 3 years to 6 years in any preschool that is Anganwadi, Balwatika etc and 2 years in class 1 and 2 that is up to the age of 8 years so 3 plus 2 comes to 5 next is preparatory stage this is of 3 years the teaching has to be imparted in such a way that while play way make the students discover with different activities and interactive classroom the third is the middle stage this will also be of three years they shall undergo experiential learning in the science math arts social science and humanities which i shall discuss ahead then comes the secondary stage and this comprises of four years it will be of the age group of 14 to 18 years it will be multidisciplinary study which will enhance great critical thinking, flexibility and students' choice of subjects. Most importantly, there is no hard separation of a stream. A student can opt a subject of any stream as per his or her interest. For example, children who opt for science can also have a subject history or can take a combination of accounts, history and physics. And here we have the reduction in curriculum. Core essentials. It is proposed that the curricular in all subjects will be reduced to its essentials. As I have already discussed in my previous slide, the core of National Education Policy 2020 is back to basics, experiential learning, learn how to learn, etc., which aims at reduction of curriculum as well as the size of the bag. Critical thinking. It will focus on critical thinking, that is inquiry, discovery, discussion and analysis-based teaching and learning methods for holistic education. Here, the role of the teacher is of the facilitator and guide them to discover and solve the problem by themselves when they encounter. That is to say, I would say that now the role of the teacher is to be passive and the students is to be active. Interactive classes. It includes interactive teaching with reduced dependency on textbook learning and questions from students will also be promoted. Then comes the experiential learning. It will have teaching full of fun, creative, collaborative and exploratory activities in classroom of essential learning and deeper student learning. John Dave has rightly said, give the people something to do, not something to learn. And the doing is of such a nature as to demand thinking and learning naturally results. Very true. I am of the opinion that Mr. Uh, uh, Bapu uh, or has also Mahatma Gandhi has also said that by education I mean all round drawing out of the best in the child and man body, mind and spirit true education must correspond to the surrounding circumstances or it is not a healthy growth this is all there in the new infrastructure of this um, and National Education Policy 2020. Uh, Ravindranath Tagore had also said, we should know that the great task of the institution is to provide for the education of the mind and all the senses through various activities. My dear friend, all the senses through va uh, various activities. All right. So this is exactly what the National Education Policy 2020 aims at. This curriculum and pedagogy will be transformed by 2020 to promote skill-based and minimize the road-based learning. Now, let's focus on LO's competencies and subject 
integration. Now let's know something about all these. It should be that it is the modules are being prepared on implementing pedagogical plans which will be based on competency and outcome based education for the school. No silos among students, I mean among subjects learning. That is, there would be no hard separation between curricular, co-curricular, extracurricular, academic or vocational science or humanities, sports, arts or academics. Integration of subjects, that is ICT, that is information and communication technology must be integrated in all subjects such as arts, sports, storytelling, as we are using it every day in such, every day such as computer, tablet, mobile, email, internet, video calls, etc. Then comes the emphasis on digital learning. It is all about the development of scientific temperaments by using experiential learning. Digital learning means being able to understand and to use technology. All right. It is knowing. Please mute yourself, friends. Please mute yourself. It relates to the ability to find, use and create information online in a beneficial and useful way. It also means knowing the limitations of technology and understanding the dangers and precautions that the use of technology require. Hence, we see for the above mentioned task, students should know the coding in different computer languages and this is important. Now comes the development of scientific temper. It involves the scientific temper and inculcation of knowledge and practice of human and constitutional values such as patriotism, sacrifice, non-violence, truth, honesty, peace, etc. Then, promotion of multilingual teaching. Such a teaching will promote the states to enter into bilateral agreement with nearby state to hire language teachers. That is, a person knowing Assami or Bengali can be hired from the nearby states. mental and physical health and well-being. Now, it will be mandatory for students to acquire skills in health and nutrition, physical education, fitness, wellness and sports. Very true goes the maxim. A sound mind dwells in a sound body. So students' health and fitness is to be given utmost care. So the schools will go for health, health checkups annually. There would be reduced weight of school bags and textbooks through suitable changes in curriculum and pedagogies. The mandatory skills is to be imbibed by all the students for health and wellness. Basic training in preventing health care, mental health, first aid, personal hygiene will be included in the curriculum. The state government will be encouraged to hire adequate number of counsellors and teachers to be shared across school complex. Presently, all the affiliated schools are associated with Sahodaya complex and I think it a great pleasure to inform that the Parasnath Sahodaya complex is in a greedy district, my own district. Now, special, a special focus will be given on children with disability. Care has to be taken for CWSN children differentiated interventions and suitable infrastructure development at schools are to be made to make access easier for children with disability. This includes developing a caring and inclusive culture at school. Now we move on to the innovative pedagogy, transforming teaching learning process. This pedagogy deals with integrated teaching in all like arts, sports and storytelling. This will promote peer tutoring as voluntary and joyful activity under the teacher's supervision. There would be no hard separation between curricular, co-curricular and extracurricular area. They have the 
freedom to choose a variety of subject combination provided which i have already discussed bagless days are to be scheduled in academic calendar that will be of 10 days this is very important bagless days use an integration of technology once again it is all about digital literacy as discussed earlier and for experiential learning i would like you all to enjoy this video which i have taken from diksha app and we can see how the wh kind has also been dealt with <laughs> activities would be uh, uh, you know kinesthetic in nature where there's a lot of movement, there's a lot of use of space and use of body. This also sets a context for you know something that they will do in nature as, as a concept as well. There's no uh, students, you know, front benches, back benches. Everybody is included, everybody is having fun, everybody is enjoying. So startup activity basically is very, 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 very important part of the experiential learning that we do. Imagine yourself to be a flying object and you are going to fly from one end of the class to the other and the others are going to guess what flying object that particular student is personified. Now we divide the class into groups. Each group will go and pick up the object which you think can fly. And your time starts now. So group one will come here and will classify the objects. This particular activity gives so much scope of processes and skills that the kids need to go through in the learning uh, uh, process. <coughs> Fly your airplane into the air, okay? After that, you go and take a measuring tape and measure the length that your airplane has done. Uh, each group will be given a topic. You will research on the topic and you will do presentation. I am giving you the rubrics. On the basis of the rubrics, your presentation will be assessed. Make one change to the model that you have just made of your paper plane and we are going to fly it again and analyze why there is a change in the distance travel time. <coughs> So now I want you to sketch out an airplane on your notebook and mark out the forces that you think oppose the movement of the airplane or support the movement of the airplane. <laughs> Fighter aircraft is a military aircraft, primarily designed for air combat and uh, uh, Imagine you are a bird and a gentle breeze is blowing. 
and slowly the gentle breeze is feeding you and you start flying. <coughs> Think of a nice caption that you can write a message in any Move forward in whatever direction possible. Again, we are in toes. And I clap again. You are going to throw your paper plane in any direction that you want. Pick up any airplane. Your crew can share with us the message that you received and also how it has made you feel. Be positive. Don't worry. Be happy. Even this, like a simple message, it makes me feel like close and it makes me feel good, like good about myself and good about everyone in the world. Right. Why did you do all the activities and what have you learned out of that? We are going to review it under three headings. What, how and why? How have you felt? Would you like to do such things in the future also more projects? And if you want to do what kind of things would you like? I really enjoyed the way the concepts were brought up, like starting from running across the classroom and imagining to be something that flies, and then finally making a plane, throwing it across the room, then actually talking about uh, the actual planes that we have. We learn a lot of technical stuff in actual learning, but right now we are also learning about teamwork, we are getting creative, we are getting imaginative, so we are learning life skills as well as the Actual usage is what we need in life. Generally speaking, I think Sushmita Ma'am did a wonderful job because I mean she's an English teacher and she taught us physics. So I mean, and it came out so well. So the experience of teaching flying to grade nine has been an eye opener. Uh, the children have been completely <coughs> animated throughout the entire exercise. Uh, they were excited to, to do the activities. They participated wholeheartedly. And the most important thing is that we loved it all. In this entire experience, content was not compromised. They not only learned uh, physics, they learned a lot of teamwork, they learned a little bit of origami, they learned how to do research. Uh, as a teacher, I think I have matured through this process. I have started thinking in those lines. Maybe I never even thought that something like this you know, we taught in this creative way. So, you can see how this experiential learning is going to be. It was, it will indeed be a tug of war. Zor laga ke hai sa, zor laga ke hai sa. So this is how the experiential learning is going to be from both sides, from the teacher as well as the student side. Now comes the India's future and India's leadership role in upcoming fields. Computational thinking is a set of problem solving methods that involve expressing problem and the solution in ways that a computer can also execute. It involves mental skills and practice for designing compilation that can get better computer to do the job for people and explain at with great interest and information. It requires coding in any programming language and National Education Policy 2020 emphasizes on coding at middle stage that is from class 6 to 8 and the age group is 11 to 14 years. Mathematical thinking includes regular practice of puzzle and games and all the above are integrated into artificial intelligence. Nowadays, artificial intelligence is very much required for designing, thinking, holistic health, organic living, environmental health, education, etc. An example of artificial learning I should say uh, artificial intelligence is um, Google Assistant, Alexa, and of course the film Terminator. Now, school complex and accreditation. 
Uh, different school complexes, clusters would be set up by the state school standard authority development of the school quality assessment and accreditation framework by SCERT. That is State Council Educational Research and Training and NCERT, that is National Council of Educational Research and Training, which will include the Balbavan, the Samaji King, Chetna King, and it simulates Sahodya complex set up by CBSC in current scenario. Then there would be resource sharing, increased efficiency, planning, governance, integration, pairing schools, etc. Uh, here we have teachers' education and development. I'm not going very much in the detail, just a short description of uh, how it would be. The, now the four-year integrated BA would be included, then two years BA and then one year BA. Now this one year BA, for those who have completed the equivalent of four-year multidisciplinary bachelor's degree or have obtained a master's degree in is uh, is in a speciality and this uh, I mean, teacher's education will gradually be moved by 2030 into multidisciplinary colleges and universities. <clears throat> now, we move on to the key focus areas, equality, gender, special needs. Here we focus on socio-economically disadvantaged groups, that is SD, SEDGS. This socio-economically disadvantaged groups, that is SEDGS, can be broadly categorized based on gender identities, particularly female uh, and uh, transgender in individuals. Then socio-cultural uh, uh, identities, that is uh, such as scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, OBCs and minorities. Then the geographical identities such uh, as the students from villages, small towns, and aspirational uh, districts. Then disabilities, including learning disabilities, and socio-economic conditions, such as migrant communities, low-income households, children in vulnerable situation, victims of, or vic children victims of trafficking, orphans, including child beggars in urban areas, and the urban poor. Of course, separate strategies will be formulated for focused education or focused attention for reducing each of the category wise gaps in schools education. In short, it aims education for all. Then comes the online and digital education. Online and digital education includes disadvantaged groups, including the young students, CWSN, as well, that is the childhood with children with special needs. It also includes blended learning content creation on different digital platforms, such as Diksha, Swayam, Vidyadan, etc. Pilot studies refers to new methods for teaching and evaluating students as in new school. A pilot study has been carried out after implementation of CCE, namely Back to Basics, which I have already discussed earlier. And now, New Education Policy 2020, Usefulness in Our School. Yes, these are the key features of this policy and they are of great usefulness to our school. So far, Usefulness is concerned, it includes all aspects of education, curricular, co-curricular and extracurricular, arts and science, sports and vocational crafts, Indian culture and ethos. The concept of preparatory class and Bal Vatika, Bal Bhavans itself has its wide importance with national foundational literacy and numeracy, that is FLN, through experiential teaching and learning methods, the teachers will be able to explore and create innovativeness, digital libraries, and holistic report card will be also uh, a help to identify specific aptitude of a child. The main 
fundamental thing that is medium of instruction instruction will be mother tongue or local languages till grade 5 and that will no doubt open the door of proper understanding and innovative ideas among the students at the same time reduction in curriculum to core concept will also reduce the escape of children from mainstream of education friends am i audible am i audible yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am ma all right thank yes ma'am thank you you are audible next yes. is the ict integration in yes ma'am and yes, learning methodologies will also help to identify all the skills in a student it will reduce huge curriculum burden children uh, children will learn skill development right from the lower grades and most important it will help recognizing identifying uniqueness in each student it will bring drop out children back to school in short i should say education will be of real real value it will not be simply to give certificate so friends now i wind up here with some of the facets of the national education policy 2020 and here is the questionnaire session moving ahead thank you ma'am thank you very uh, you nice presentation you can see now that there is a spinning wheel over here this is spinning wheel uh, is thank there before your eyes this will move around mm. and where it stops anybody from that school is supposed to answer uh, the question that i will ask it is just a fun all right it's not straining anybody okay. okay so yes here goes the spinning wheel and yes it stops at gd dav deoghar anybody from deoghar gd dav deoghar school please give the answer what is the full form of sdg what is the full form of sdg dav deoghar anybody please all right <coughs> doesn't matter the answer is sustainable development goals i have already discussed just to see okay as uh, uh, speeding goes again and this time it stops at dav maheshpur this time it stops at dav maheshpur and the question that goes to dav maheshpur is what is the new pedagogical structure of new education policy 2020 what is the new pedagogical structure of new education policy 2020 yes friends anybody it's not very audible please yes all right i'm not able to hear so the answer is 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 yes spinning of the wheel goes Oh God! It is in the middle. So once again, I would like this thing to move on so that now, now it comes to DAV Jamtara. So mention the middle classes in National Education Policy 2020. Anybody from DAV Jamtara, please answer the middle classes in the National Education Policy 2020. What are those classes? the middle stage the voice is uh, not very audible i can hear some sound but then very good the answer is class 6 7 and 8 i hope you all are enjoying again it has gone to jv damtara so i'll move on again let's see where it stopped this time dav godda DAV Godda anybody from DAV Godda can uh, answer what is resource sharing what is resource sharing yes friends anybody what is resource sharing 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so sharing means, ma'am, sharing of uh, the documents uh, and whatever we are having uh, files and folders and whatever uh, the learning materials we have, we are sharing with others. Yes, sir. very good. Very good, sir. Thank you so much. Well done. Very well done, sir. And I can see we are getting the answers from uh, YouTube. So also, so it's very true that the school can share its teachers, teaching methods, teaching kids, etc. among school complex. So very well said, sir. Thank you very much. Well done. Oh, so again, Jantara, <laughs> going ahead. Oh, it's in the middle. Once again. Yes, it goes to BNS DAV Giridi. What is the concept of multidisciplinary in national education policy 2020? The concept of multidisciplinary in national education policy 2020. Anybody from BNSDAV, please? Initially, ma'am, multidisciplinary and disciplinary, it means there are many concepts of the NEP 2020. In that, uh, main aims of this program actually that uh, interest developing to the students and that uh, job oriented, it will be created to the job and uh, training which provide from the six on the behalf of that their profession. So as well as that creative learning and assessment, all these things which are mentioned and doing the study is very interesting according to NEP 2020. Very well said, sir. Well done. So it is uh, all, uh, I mean, just to add that is irrespective of a stream that students may take any subject combination such as physics, chemistry, maths, history, yeah. etc. This is how they are going to make their future. Very well said, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And now it is Mahesh, Maheshpur once again now, some other school. Maheshpur has already got the chance. And uh, here again, Jamtada, no. My CCL DAV, oh God. <laughs> DAV CCL Giridi. All right, so, and the question goes to DAV CCL Giridi, that is, what is the full form of SEDG? Full form of S E D G. Yes, friend. Anybody from D A V C C L get ready? S E D G. Yes, please come up. Friends. All right. Maybe some network issue. So uh, it is socio. Economically disadvantaged groups, socio economically disadvantaged groups. Thank you. Um, so I can see that only 100 participants are allowed. So, yes, socio economically disadvantaged groups, socio economically, yes, socio economic disadvantaged groups, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Equal. Disadvantage group. Yes. Now it is DAV Parker. Uh, DAV Parker 2. Move on to DAV Parker 2. What is the full form of CWSN? What is the full form Disadvantage of group. Disadvantage group. Yes, sir, that is done. Socio-economically disadvantaged groups. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for your answer. And I'm now move, uh, moved on to DAV Parkour. And the question for the DAV Parkour is, the, what is the full form of CWSN? CWSN. Any friend from DAV Parkour, please? Children with special needs. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank Children you. Children with special needs. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Well done. Well said. Thank you once again. Burda, no. Let's move on somewhere else. Yes, this is uh, again, once again, uh, Devgar. Jamtada, no. Burda has already got the chance. BNS has also got. 
Have I finished with everyone? Uh, Gurda has also got the chance. So, no, I can. Uh, DAB Topa is there. All right. So, just uh, this is, I think, the last one. I can. Can I ask DAB Topa, please? DAB Topa, how many bagless days are proposed in National Education Policy 2024 Middle Group? How many bagless days are proposed to National Education Policy 2024 Middle Group? DAV Topa? DAV Topa? Yes, very well said. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. So with this I two more acha. And this is the last question is for all of you. Um, what is the full form of Nishta? N I S H T H A. It's this question is common for all. What is the full form of Nishta? N I S group. Our school had from teachers holistic advancement. Very good. Very well said. Which school, dear? TV Public School, Sanya Giridi. Wow. Very good. Very good. Now, so the answer is National Initiative for School Heads and Teachers Holistic Advancement. That is Nishtha. Thank you, friends, for. Uh, this uh, trouble of answering the questions th that was asked to you. I hope you have enjoyed this session. And before I depart from you all, I would like you all to watch this video, which is a clip from Three Idiots. <laughs> Very nice. Sir, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I I So you see, I leave a question for all of you to decide between well-trained and education and educated, how you're going to take your life to be. So thank you so much. Stay safe, stay healthy. And now if anyone is interested to give some feedback, the floor is yours. Anybody from any school? Any yeah. feedback?